Welcome to the channel everybody. Now, today I'm going to be showing you how to find yourself a vehicle and get that fixed up as quickly as possible. So, what you first want to do is have a look at some car spawns. Now, if you're an avid player of Scum, you may know some of these spawn areas already. Now, car garages are going to be one of your best bets to find a vehicle. You can also find vehicles quite well down at the train yard. There's a few spawns along this side and there's a couple on this side. You have spawns all along the windmills for vehicles. Each town you'll have spawns for vehicles. The big town will have quite a few as well. If you do want to find out where these vehicle spawns actually are, you can do on scum maps. So if we head over to scum maps and hit interactive map, as you can see, we have all these vehicle spawns. Now all you need to do is go down to your map filters here and there's an abundance of different types of filters but right at the bottom you'll see vehicles. All right, so you've got vehicle spawns, wheelbarrow, mo motorbike, bicycle, aircraft, boat, paddle, rib and vehicle parts as you can see. If you click on these it will show you exactly where they are on the map. Now this is very useful if you are a new player to scum and you don't know where these vehicle spawns are and you just want a little idea just to help you out, okay? Come over to Scum Maps, it is a good tool to use, especially when you first start out. Obviously, if you've been playing Scum a while, you may not need to use this anymore. All right, but just a little tip there if you do need to use it. Go have a look on there if you wish. But generally, the main thing to really focus on is sort of like car garages. You know, go to populated towns like this. Find a garage like this and just have a look inside. Sometimes they'll have a vehicle in, sometimes they won't. But they're all worth checking. Now, in this little town here, down in the Z sectors, there are six garages, I believe. So, there's four here, and then there's some more up this side. And you've also got a couple more on that end, so there might be eight on this, on this town. But, generally, just have a look around. Sometimes you will find them, they will spawn just in the road, randomly. Just keep your eye out. Now, when it comes to finding a vehicle, sometimes it's not a very quick process, all right? Other cases, you may land at like a farm or something and get lucky and find a vehicle. Some people do. Other cases where it's going to take you a bit longer to get one, all right? Especially when they aren't fully working and you're going to need to find the parts for them. Again, this all depends on your server settings, okay? As you can see with this vehicle, this is going to be no use to us at all. First of all, because it's missing two front wheels. Second of all, and most importantly, has no engine inside of it. All right. So bear this in mind. You will come across vehicles that do not work. If you are very lucky, you will have a vehicle that is in full working order. Now, obviously, searching around towns like this is going to be your best bet. As I've said, car garages are your best bet for finding vehicles. There are some locations like farms and stuff that do have vehicle spawns as well. Oh, here we go, there's another one. With no wheels on it. But, let's have a look, see if it's got an engine. Okay, so this one has an engine. Has a battery. By the looks of it, though, it's missing alternator, maybe. So, it's got petrol. It's got battery power as well. So, right now, you need to find a front seat, four wheels for this, which is going to take a bit long, but it is doable. So, when you're looking for stuff for vehicles, again, car garages are going to be a huge help to you, okay? They're going to give you stuff like car parts, tyres, batteries, all these sorts of things that you're going to need to then bring to a vehicle like that and fix it up. Now, we'll move to a different town now and just have a little look and see if we can find one somewhere else. If you come across a place like this, search it, alright? One, because there's vehicle spawns here. Secondly, because these places are great for vehicle parts. There you go. There's a dirt bike wheel there. So if you look for a dirt bike wheel, there's one there. 
Oh, lovely. Carjack. Now, very, very important piece of kit when you're trying to find yourself a vehicle is a carjack. And this will come in handy, and I'll show you why when we come across another vehicle. So again, in these places, make sure you're searching around in here, trying to find yourself some bits. Lovely. There's a car battery there, so we'll take that for sure. There's another car jack in here. We've got one now, so we don't need to worry about that. Now, now you've got yourself a car battery and a car jack, this makes your life a lot easier, okay? We can use the car jack to potentially strip other vehicles that are in worse condition for parts for the vehicle we're intending to use. I have gone through this a little bit before in vehicle guide, but I'll explain it now quickly. With car jacks, you use these to service vehicles, okay? And once you service the vehicle, you can then strip parts off of said vehicle, okay? Now, you especially need this for the wheels on the vehicle. That is what you're going to need this for. Parts on a vehicle as such, like the lights and like the, the bumpers and doors and stuff, you don't actually need to service to take off those items. Okay? All you need the car jack for is to take off wheels, but wheels is one of the most important things that you're probably going to need to find, okay? It's one of those items that are most common not being on a car. So make sure you have one of these, and it is also a good idea to find yourself a car battery if you don't have one. If you can also find an alternator for said vehicle, brilliant. With dirt bikes, all you need are the wheels, all right, at the moment. The batteries and everything don't come off. So it's just with the cars that you really need to worry about. Now, we're going to head off. I'm going to go down to the train yard, have a look around the train yard, because usually there's quite a few little spawns down there for us. So, found a vehicle. Drivable for the most part. Got a battery. So we can install this. So what we want to do is lock this for now. It's not got a lot of fuel in it, but it's fine. So keep the battery on it, put that in there, put this in on us, keep this on us, and then put that in there. Now, obviously someone can come along and lockpick this, but this will give you a, just a bit of protection for it. So now what we need to do, we just need to find one Wolfswagon wheel. Where did I see a Wolfswagon? Back in the town, wasn't it? Let's run back down to the town and have a quick look at that ball so I can see if there's a wheel on it. Now the ball wagon was just up here, so run up here quickly. I'm hoping it has a wheel on it. If not, we'll just have to look around this town for a wheel quickly. Quick little tip for you here, guys. Right, when you are doing this. You see how this all lights up? Other players can see this, okay? So if another player is walking down this road and you do that and all this lights up, they know for a fact someone's at this car, okay? So just be aware of this when you're doing this sort of thing. Now, we're just going to take this wheel off here. Pop that into our bag. Anything on here we can take with us? I don't think so, is there? Got a front door, the back seat. Pick that back up. Right then. Let's get back up to the train yard quickly. Obviously, as you ran back down here, just hope and pray that the vehicle's still here, which it is lovely. And what we want to do is serve to the vehicle. We want to take that, install that. And then we want to take the battery out of here. And then we want to install that uh, in here. Lovely job. Right, so end the service. Pick this back up. Drive. Now, you can drive these vehicles with three wheels, all right? Bear that in mind. Come on, car. Start. 
Lovely. And there you have it. Now, it does only have three wheels on it, but as you can see, we can drive it like this. Maybe a bit wobbly. But just be careful, damage is on, on these vehicles again now, so... We have to be careful, obviously, driving them now. But there you go. We've just found ourselves a vehicle. It has taken us... Uh, da -da -da -da, 52 minutes to search around for a vehicle and find one, get the items for it. Now, obviously, this car wasn't so bad. You know, we already found a battery anyway before we come across this vehicle. All we needed to do was run back down to the town and run back up here, which is probably the longest part of the process, is finding the parts that you need. But there you go, we can get down to a trader now. Well, I say that, we're going to run out of fuel in a second. But, at least you know now how to get yourself a vehicle and repair it to a standard of being able to drive it. Obviously, fuel, different question. You have to source that yourself. But, again, go to petrol stations. You can generally find fuel canisters even in the train yard as well sometimes. So, just bear that in mind. Last little tips for you. As I've said, if you're going out... Hello. Hello. If you're going out salvaging any type of vehicle, then obviously bring a car jack. It is a must have, okay? Now, you don't need any sort of types of skills or anything to do things with vehicles anymore, okay? All you need to have is a car jack, all right? If you want to repair any of the vehicle, then obviously you're going to need some sort of vehicle repair kit on you. And with that, then you just highlight over the area and it will say repair chassis, body, etc. Okay. Easy as chips. Now, you've got yourself a vehicle. It's all working. You ran out of fuel, but that's perfectly fine because it's all locked up. All you need to do is go and find yourself a fuel canister, kind of fill this up, either take it to the trader, make yourself a bit of money quickly, or take it home and then go and salvage some more stuff for it on foot, okay? If you had enough fuel to get this back home, get it home, get it stored, and then go out on a hike and go and search for more stuff for it, okay? You can go and find yourself some car parts. You know, it needs a hood, it needs another wheel, it needs two doors, it needs a bonnet, okay? It's going to take you quite a while to get up to 400 fame points to obviously be able to buy items from the trader for this, from the mechanic. So it is going to be the case of salvaging parts. But as you can see, if you find another vehicle of the same liking, bring a car jack with you. You can just salvage the parts straight off that and bring them back home to your car. Okay. Now, everything I've gone through today, again, as I would say every time with all my guides, is server dependent. Okay. Now, if we have a quick look. Obviously, my server stuff should be exactly how it is on default because I when I do guides and stuff I leave it all on default all right so if we look on vehicles obviously as you can see we've got dirt bike functional amounts so all the dirt bikes are actually working we've got 50 likers on the map only 20 of them actually work so there are possibilities of finding vehicles that are running okay that don't need work doing to them as such all right Again, you can do this with all the vehicles, but these are all just default settings, well, they should be anyway. Yeah, they are. So, as you can see, obviously, it's the, it is the server dependent. If you're, serve, if you're on a private server, they may have less vehicles, they may have more vehicles. It may be harder to come across vehicles if you're on a PvP, PvE server generally because there's other players on said server, so everyone's going to be doing exactly the same as you're doing and trying to find themselves a vehicle. So just bear all these variables in mind. Obviously, if you're on a single player server, like I am now, you've got the pick of the island for vehicles for yourself. All right, so it's easily done. They are easily findable, okay? But not in every case are they gonna be working. So just bear that in mind. You may have to do a bit of legwork, a bit of running around to find parts for them. But the one thing I will say, even before you found a vehicle, if you're thinking ahead of future gameplay, then think, oh, I've come across a Wolfswagen wheel right now, you know, or I've come across a Leica alternator. Take them, okay? Don't just leave them there. Oh, I haven't got a vehicle. There's no point taking them. Bring them with you. 
One, because if you do find a vehicle, you've then got spare parts at your base to use. Secondly, if you have spare parts for a vehicle you don't have, and you're on a populated server, people will pay good money for vehicle parts, especially now where it's so hard to go and purchase said parts from the trader, okay? So just bear that in mind. You can either make yourself a lot of money, or you can make your life a lot easier in the future as well, okay, when it comes to you then going out and looking for a vehicle if you already have parts at home. So main things to take away from this is bring a car jack out with you if you are going out looking for a vehicle so you can salvage stuff. If you have one, try and bring a fuel canister with you with fuel. If not, find one while you're out. And third of all, just remember this is sometimes not a very quick process, okay? This has taken me, as I said, about 55 minutes to do this. And I've ran mainly from two, three different areas in the south. Okay, so just bear that in mind, obviously, when you're doing this sort of thing. Sometimes it takes days. You know, I did a PvP playthrough a few months back when I first started that. And it took me, I think it was about two or three weeks to actually find a vehicle. So, again, server dependent, population dependent. I hope this helped some of you out on how to find a vehicle, where to look for a vehicle, and how to get that vehicle running. I just want to give a quick shout out to our channel members, Megahoof, Mary G, Alti, Nectar940, and Phoenix. Thank you very much for your extra and ongoing support. It's always appreciated. If you did enjoy the video, give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and the notification bell so you stay up to date with the latest scum news guides and content over on the channel until next time see ya